Hey Tanker, Seattle Forge here. Uh, I wanted to bring you this game just because it was thoroughly amusing. This is not a good performance by me uh, or by much of my team, but it is a little unusual. So we have a little bit of an edge in the chance to win here. It's a tier 9 match. I'm in my Super Purging. I see a lot of thick armor and big guns, so I uh, loaded up on uh, Prim Rounds to start, and I think I'm going up the hill here. And you can see we get a most of the people heading up the hill into uh, Tank Alley, or the Banana, as they call it in Europe. The T-49 tearing across the middle of the map. That was unusual. And then you can see this pile of tanks coming up on the 2-3 uh, in one lines. Uh, a lot of heavy mass there. And I decide at that point, I've got to turn around. And we have a lot of guys going uh, to the alley, and certainly a good number of guys going up the hill. But that mass of tanks along 1, 2, and 3 really requires a bit more attention. And so I turn my trusty but slow super purging around to go in. See if I can help out. This team is, the other team, is just going ham. And you can see our team is getting hung up in the in the uh, tank alley. Uh, this T-49 is breaking on my left here. I couldn't believe it was going to come all the way in here. And he's already taken a couple whacks. I give him one and somehow don't get smashed by his HE shell. That's a blessing. And I probably should have blocked him here, but instead I backed up and was trying to get shots on his uh, side and his ass as he went around. And so I've got uh, one hit, one miss. And a non-penetration with APCR on the back of a light tank. I don't know what's going on there. And at this point I, I give chase, even though it's fruitless, thinking I don't want him getting shots on the back of our guys on the alley. That would be devastating at this point in the match. So I make my way over, and just as I'm coming up to the corner, he's dealt with. So I'm going to head back to the one, two, three lines on the rail lines to see if I can lend my support. As you can see, I mean, you got a 110 who's pretty much trying to fend people off there. The T-34-3 is making a quick exit, don't blame him. Our uh, French TD, the AC-48, is moving in, which is not really smart, but brave. It's only pixel tank. I mean, how brave can you be? Our T-49 is still bitching about the fact that he shouldn't have been seen and was and was killed and that somehow the other team cheated. Learn the game. So this T-29 is just going ham, and I'm able to put one into him, and I think I'm going to get another one into the backside, but that opportunity is stolen by someone on the team. That's fine. Uh, the threat is getting willed out. This WZ-132 is actually a pretty good player. He gets several in me uh, without me being able to return much. And I'm backing into piles of rubble. I'm so lucky that I 6 this shot didn't pen somewhere important. But I've got my riot shield towards him, and I do put one into him. WZ-132 comes back and, of course, catches me at an awkward angle, so I'm trying to back up and give myself a little room to work. And the IS-6 takes another one from me and bounces another off me. Ha ha ha! Right, shield deployed, sucka. T29 is here in support. KV5 is being isolated by the rest of the team. The hill was lost completely. Uh, they, they did have superior tanks. So there's that. And now he's firing. The IS6 is firing HE. The 132 manages to sneak in a, another one in through the uh, front armor. Good player. Give him credit. Not easy. IS-6 lands another big HE hit on me. And I put one into lower glycis. I've still got help from this T-29. T-29 takes him for a bunch. I take the kill shot. The 132 is still giving me hell, putting another one in for 276. And he's behind this pillar here. I can't really help the T-34-3 out. T-34-3 turned out to be uh, really the winner of this game. And it's not that he tags the most damage, although he does do a fair amount, it's that uh, he had a tendency to find isolated players and lock them up, and you'll see more of that coming up. And that it's that behavior that really won us the game. Now my client was actually being unbelievably glitchy at this point. I'd been hearing sirens for a while, and then I see that the friendly base capture is on. Yag Tiger. I get a little brave with, and this is a poor decision. 
Put one of the lower glacis. Pull back. Shoot one under him. Excellent marksmanship by me. Back into the T29, not smart. He's shot, so I take another shot as Lord Glacis gets the tracks, track him in place. That's not a great idea since he's pointing straight at me. And I wait there thinking my reload's going to beat his, and it does, just barely, and he takes me out. Now look at the T43. He's behind the Jagtiger, not letting him back up, so the T29 has free shots, and so does the Porsig at the Jagtiger's Lord Glacis. T29's been eliminated by the Jagtiger. Borsig standing his ground. And then Borsig removes the Jagtiger from the game. So the T-43 essentially held that Jagtiger in place, allowing the Borsig to take him out. 13-13, they have an edge on hit points. It's anybody's game, really. And this T-43, T-34-3, I decided to follow him since he had the most... He was the most interesting player of this game. Alright, M103 is making a move into our cap. We have a Borsig with 25 hit points. T2152 comes sneaking in, blows back the T43, T343, uh, but he does get a shot onto him, and now he's got his ass pointed toward him. The T52 T252 is going after the Borsig, and he must have had an ammo rack taken out, or a loader taken out, or whatever, but he stood there forever waiting for that reload to happen to take out the Borsig. He probably could have rammed him. And our Chinese medium is tracked. He puts a good win to the side of the M103. What a great shot. M103 looking for another shot on T43. And here comes this technique again. Just blocking him in. And of course the Borsig is there to help him out. And that is the game one Borsig. Five kills. T343 with the blocks. Fantastic job.